Um, Mr. Brashears, simply put, does the Inflation Reduction Act, in fact, reduce inflation? Uh, no. Do you have any data to support that? Is that your opinion? Uh, the Inflation Reduction Act was intended to reduce inflation by reducing the deficit, but the deficit has doubled from last year, from about $1 trillion to $2 trillion. So the evidence is, uh, is, and even if you looked at the original estimates, it was not going to be reducing the deficits in the initial years. So the fact that everything has blown up in costs, that tells me that, no, it has not reduced inflation. So facts and evidence. Crazy. Okay. What impact does the IRA have on prices Americans are paying at the gas pump and in the supermarkets? Uh, so what we have seen so far since the Inflation Reduction Act went into place, and uh, <laughs> most of the, the provisions went into place in January 1 of this year, and the average gas of, uh, price of gasoline was 309 at the time. Now it's up to 384. So the evidence uh, is that the, the prices of gasoline are going up. Prices I'm sorry, could you repeat those numbers again? Uh, it's gone up from 309 to 384 okay. since January. And under normal... 309 is less than 384. I That's mean, correct. I realize binomics, it might be a little different, but I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, switching gears. Mr. White, will the IRA increase the cost of prescription medicines? Uh, absolutely. I mean, the, the first thing is uh, for the inflation rebates, um, CBO has said repeatedly that those will lead to higher launch prices. So, yes, it will increase drug prices. And, and can you expand on that just a little bit more? Sure. So if a drug company um, is subject to an inflation rebate, what it says is that if my drug price increases faster than inflation, I have to pay a rebate back to the government. So as a company launches a product, what the Congressional Budget Office has said is that they will take that into account when pricing their product and try and price it as high as they possibly can so that they, as they increase prices over time, they're not subject to... And is there any evidence of this, or is this just your opinion? This is the congr experts at the con nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office have said this. I'm just making sure we're following the facts as opposed to opinions. So to follow up on that, the IRA uses the term negotiations as code language for government price controls on drugs. In your assessment, what impact will price controls have on the ability for Americans to access medications? It will make it much more difficult to access new and innovative medicines. It will also lead to drug shortages. I think we have decades of evidence from other countries that have tried this approach, uh, and in every instance, access Can you give us an example? Sure. Um, so. Uh, in the UK, for example, they've had this system in place, a similar system in place for several decades. They have access to about half as many medicines as people in the United States have. Interesting. Thank you. Mr. Brashear, is a green energy subsidy, are green energy subsidies effective at reducing inflation? No, I would say they're not. Can you expand on that for me? Um, the, these are subsidies that are merely shifting the incentives around uh, to push people in, into, uh, into purchasing certain items and not other items, but they're not in expanding the supply. They're merely uh, re rearranging, I guess, the distribution, the allocation of, of people's, uh, people's money. But the, the, there's no increase of supply. Would it, would it be safe to say that if a... Um, policy was so effective and it worked so well and it helped so many people that a policy like that wouldn't need a subsidy because people would go and buy that product, whatever it may be? I think that's a very good way of stating it. If you, if you didn't... Seems common sense. It, it does seem common sense, yes. Right? And, and Mr. Brishers and Mr. White, were Americans better off in 2019 or are they better off now under Bidenomics? I would say they're better off. Uh, they were better off in 2019. Based on what? Uh, based off of real incomes, based off of inflation. I think that the, the, the economic statistics have deteriorated significantly. Thank you. Mr. White? I, I would agree with that. Based on? Uh, 
real wages are down um, as health costs increase, our take-home pay declines, our standard of living declines, so families are worse off uh, by paying more. The average family uh, policy this year will cost about $22,000. It's the equivalent of buying a new Kia and shoving it into the Potomac River every year and then buying a new one. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I think both sides want a better America. I, I really want to believe that in my heart of hearts. And how we, where we differ is how we get there. And I think we have to be stewards of the taxpayers' money because I believe you said earlier, sir, that the government really doesn't produce anything, right? They, they really don't produce everything. And with this layer upon layer of regulation and this layer upon layer of bureaucracy, it's people like my colleague over here that actually supported the bill but can't even take advantage of it. Where's this money going? I'll share with you where it's not going. It's not going to the American people. It's going somewhere. But I can assure you, the Americans in my district, they are not benefiting from these policies.